today's dog is Nala. She's reactive to dogs and people apparently. So far so good. There you go. And I purposely walked away from her rather than directly to her. But yeah, she's still triggered. Right, we'll So the first thing I notice is she's on a harness. I hate harnesses. If you follow my page, you know I hate harnesses, so we'll get her off that in a minute. The lead's a good lead. So you, you've got one thing out of two, right? <laughs> and that's literally all they're designed for. So is that the tree trunk she's... <laughs> so is this what you do, like a stop and sniff at everything? Yeah. Right. She might do it, this one. Morning. I thought you said she was dog reactive. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> Direction, that's all you're going to do. If she doesn't get in front, you can keep walking. If she gets in front. Yeah. If she stays at your side, because that's what we want. Ignore that. That's right. Nice. It's an immediate improvement. So you can tell her what a good girl she is. Keep going, you're almost stopping. Oi. Correct that, that's it. So there, you see when I said correct, you actually did it anyway, just that little flick with you. Do what you did and give space. Don't let her get super close to it. It's not bothered in the slightest anyway. This is good for her to walk so close to another dog because that's not interested. Yeah, and it's not enough. Nice. How did that feel? Yeah, didn't really need to pull that much. Good. That's what we want. And this is the most important thing you have to do in order to teach a dog about the lead pressure. So the purpose of your weaving is the dog has to start paying more attention to you. Whereas if you just move forward and they start pulling, they're going to keep on pulling. <laughs> 